Hello and welcome to hell. If you've ever wanted to know where the computer graveyard is, it's here. We got motherboards, we got 600s, we got 500 keyboards, we've got the reason for this video, we've got the 3GFX card that needs mending, fixing, repairing. We got disk drives, we got disk drives of disk drives, we got Raspberry Pi cases. Oh my gosh. So let's clear some space. Uh, let's get started. I'm, I'm going to do another project before we begin. Now, the reason for this whole entire building this silly car, car with two wheels, is because I need to install this DFO DF1 switcher in the A500. And I don't think it, I don't know. I mean, there's a tutorial I'm following. But I know nothing about electronics, so I'm going to do that first. I picked this up at a church sale, Funway Project Kits 1 to 10 from Dick Smith Electronics. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know if all the bits are in it, whatever, but I'll have a play with that during the making of this. Um, don't wreck your guitar. Um, yeah, so, alright. So project number one, I've just bought another one of these. I'm going to take the case off and see what I can do because there's no gap between the sampler and the A520. It just doesn't work. So I'm, I'm looking at my 500 in black and white. I want to butcher this so I can see it in color. Apparently it says don't use this RF out. So I won't. There is an RGB to VGA adapter coming, but that's not for that computer, um, which would mean I still have to run it on this, which I can't screen grab with the Elgato. So let's just pop this off. Yeah, you've mounted it the case already. So it looks pretty dusty. It's going to need a clean. I know 8 bit guy uses a battery vacuum cleaner, so I might have to start buying stuff. I'll put it in the dishwasher, shall I? Yeah, right, whatever. So, how am I going to shorten that? How am I going to shorten that? Is that all it is? Um, there's no way. There's no way to physically bend that around. Can I not just run a wire, solder that, run a wire from there to there, make that the video out yeah that's a good idea great design by the way Commodore <laughs> but they weren't didn't plan ahead for samplers and video video Amiga RTs and such forth to be plugged in all at the same time hmm. okay and like the 8-bit guy the camera tripods in the way. I found a use for the Funway kit. Scored myself some wire. I don't have any in this house. Everything that is wire is attached to something, so let's just pinch the red one. Use your teeth. It's got to go from there. I'm guessing we brighten the picture up post-production. 
So, let's do this. My $5 soldering iron. Oh, it works. What did the light go off? I don't know. What do you expect for a five dollar thingy? Now is it? Hmm. Bloody hell, that's... I can't do it now. But... It says on the box here... Heating up in 15 seconds. And it's been on for a minute, so... What gives? To activate it, it says you've got to hold, just touch this metal ball thingy. And 15 seconds later, it's hot enough. One, two, three, four. So, thirty dollars later, we got some M3 nuts for four dollars. MC screws for four dollars, and a, a cheap ass twenty-two dollar soldering iron. There was. Every range from 22 up to 90 or 109 if you want one of those twirly whirly things where you put the iron in. But this is just for me so I can play around. Fingers crossed. Boom! When plugged in the iron will it'll heat to 150 watts to allow soldering within 10 seconds. Whilst pressing the turbo switch, the iron will utilize what turbo switch? Oh, it's got a turbo switch. Will utilize 80 watts for a large area. Without pressing the turbo switch, the iron will use 15 watts for PCB and precision soldering. There we go. It's smoking. You need some pliers. This is a bit you forgot. I don't think it's even soldered in. I think it's just stuck in. <laughs> that was a waste of money. It's alright, I needed one. Don't let it touch anything. Especially a power supply. Oh shit. You burn the house down. Do we use overkill? No, overkill is far too big. You want miniature pliers. Okay, so I tried to strip the red lead and all I got now is a beer wire.
to the bloody camera. I think that's where I've actually attached it. Nowhere near where I was soldering, that's for sure. Hang on. Where, where do I put it without melting anything? You can get your scissors that you threw away because you thought you'd finished with them. You ain't getting stressed out. Bend that up. I bent it off and it broke. It's impossible. The impossible just happened. So, we'll get it. Where did I bend it up? It's invisible. Well, ow! Don't burn yourself. We'll just do that and I'll call it a day. Stupid bloody thing. I left the soldering iron on and it's melted through the plastic. Gotta get that off now. Okay, so it's incredibly hot in this room. I'm going to open the door after this. <sighs> Fingers crossed. I'll put it back in the case if it works. So that's going to HDMI, and I've set that at 720. We'll see what it does. I've got that off. How's the power switch? Alright. Moment of truth. How are you recording? Yes. Push screen two. We have color ish. <laughs> ish? Where's the mouse gone? Okay. I don't like the color. I like it. The black and white's a lot clearer. It may be the most pointless mod ever made. Why is it so crap? Switches to seven to ten eighty. Nothing. I prefer black and white. <laughs> It's actually a lot clearer in black and white. <laughs> well, I did it anyway. It works. I'm going to put it back in its box. And, uh... I don't know. Which one do you want to use? Black or white or colour? Look how crystal clear that is. What if I put that in 720? Oh, you can tell the difference. It's a bit not so. Can't see it on the camera, but it's a bit like um, a CRT filming a CRT, and that's a lot clearer. Oh, that's project one done. Back to the car again. <laughs> 